Well, hello, Taurus. Welcome to Josie K. Tarot. I'm Josie K., and this is the week of September 7th through the 14th of 2020. Love reading. Now, if we do have career and finance jumping in here, we are going to pay attention to that. I'm not going to ignore that. I know a lot of people are trying to figure out how things are going to transpire after or during this epidemic. So many blessings to those of you whom are searching for stability and security. I know a lot of people, after they have their personal readings with me, write me and tell me that uh, the, the, the situations happened exactly around the dates that I had said during their personal readings and have found a journey where they can start over in a higher, better direction. So good for you guys. I'm going to go ahead and bring in the Magic of You Oracle deck by Fiona Horn, and I'm going to do a Celtic spread. So, dear Lord, spirit guides and angels, please bless whichever Taurus I'm reading for. Sun, moon, or rising, male or female, Venus, Saturn, Pluto, Jupiter, and so on. With clearly defined messages regarding the week of September 7th through the 14th of 2020. All right, so in the center of the Celtic spread, right off the bat, Taurus, you've got the hex energy. So this is about you walking in your highest, best path, but very clearly being able to detect an enemy, someone who could affect your beautiful journey. It is time to allow the enemy to reveal themselves. So it's a time to sit contentedly, give thanks to your current foundation, circumstances, and situation, and allow those whom have negative energy to reveal themselves just by watching and not taking action is the message here in the beginning of the week of September 7th of 2020 Taurus. Now in the thoughts position, we have Lavaria. Let love grow. You are coming back together and you are blooming with this lily type energy. So as you continue to let love grow with number 14, number one being a new path, number four having to do with a solid foundation in your life. Let love grow so you can connect with those who really love and care about you. For in the foundation you have serendipity Merge with the flow. It's time to get back in the game again. And spirit with the number 30. As you observe others, figure out how you're going to create a beautiful life that will flow exactly how it is you'd like to see it go. Yeah, because in the past, recent past, we have the detox card. We have a tourist that chose to follow spirit's advice and they cleansed and restored themselves. They freed themselves from that which was unhealthy. And spirit has been nudging you or will be in the beginning of the week to let love grow while allowing the enemies or enemy to reveal themselves. Go with the flow now that you are cleansed and let real love grow. Not those who may try to fool you is the advice. So in the first, let's see, from the 7th to the 9th, we have translucence. This is about falling in love with the darkness. A moment of pause. Number 33. Three is the Holy Trinity. Father, Son, Holy Ghost. When there's two threes, Spirit saying, we brought you from a blessed journey that was difficult where maybe you did allow the enemies to come in your life, but now you are cleansed. Now you can allow this dark moment of transformation for when it is dark as you pray to allow real love in your life and go with the flow of a new beginning. Three plus three is six. Six will represent success. 
Some of you will co be connecting by the end of the week with others. We got three plus three is six here. And it, com coming together with others who are going to help lift you up, right? The light is going to come into your darkness if you will just let love grow and merge with the flow now that you are cleansed and restored. Once you see the enemy, know that you have the ability at this time in the actions position, Taurus, to create the tangible, to make your dreams come true. Enjoy this moment of pause, this moment of darkness. Merge with the flow and let love grow as you allow others to show you their true colors. So in the spiritual advice position, we have effervescence. Spirit is giving you the strength to cultivate love. As you are in this moment of pause and darkness and confusion, maybe for some. Love this darkness. Start a journal and say, these people love me. These are the nice things they said or did for me. I'm going to merge into the flow of love as I pay attention to those around me. For I have now detoxed myself from the enemy and can make my dreams come true. And during this process, through my actions, can cultivate even more love in my life. This is pretty deep. So in the hopes and fears position... We have Samadhi, perfect acceptance. Number 29, I now accept how I got tangled up in all these roots, but now I have hope because I accept myself and the path I had to experience, the people who I had to connect with in order to now recognize my dreams. For in my actions position, I have the ability with the tangibility energy to make a dream come true. To cultivate good love and happy things. And to most importantly, accept myself. For from the 10th to around the 14th of September of 2020, in your outcome position, Taurus, we have solitude. 31. So one is about, I want to move into a new path, but I know with the number three, the Holy Trinity, Father, Son, Holy Ghost, that Spirit is trying to guide me into the right direction. So I'm going to love this moment of darkness, for I'm going to recognize myself and accept myself and realize that I may be alone, but I am not lonely. Three plus one being four, I know. That as I put time and effort into making my own personal dreams come true. That 3 plus 1 is 4. four will, the Spirit will help with the number 4 numerology energy to create a solid foundation for myself, for my future. This is the new me. So on the bottom of the deck we have... Vertigo, whatever you choose will be correct. Some of you maybe will be recognizing that you have a key to something, a doorway, a home, a business, an office, and spirits saying you now belong to paradise. See, right behind that. Embrace oneness. With the universe. Become a loving mirror. This is showing up for a lot of people. Let people see love when they look at you. When they reflect through you. And know that you are no longer stuck or trapped. For there is a solution to every problem. Honor your mystical creative self. Look at this. Here you are. Some of you are going to be able to take off an old mask of what or who you used to be and now honor yourself. As you sit in solitude during the, that week, 
enjoy the moment of darkness. Cultivate love, merge with the flow, make your dreams come true as you sit in solitude for you, this process will help for you to receive this perfect acceptance energy. Oh my gosh, look it. On the bottom of the deck, we have resilience to burn away the past and opulence. It's time to lead. It's time to put on a new mask. See the old mask? It had no color. The new mask is gold. Golden leaves fall around you. You can create this for yourself now. If you move forward from this detoxification and enemy energies. So for further clarification, I think I'm going to bring in the signs and or elements of those whom by which you may need to pay attention to. I'm going to bring in the Rider Waite deck. Oh, no, I'm sorry. The Gilded Tarot deck by Chiro Marsetti. Dear Lord, Spirit, Guides, and Angels, please bless whichever Taurus energy I'm reading for with further clarification, confirmation, and spiritual advice representing the week of September 7th of 2020. I don't know if this is so much about loving another. It's about loving yourself first and really using this week to create the new you and to come into perfect acceptance of who you were meant to be. Enjoying the darkness of solitude as you merge with the flow and make these dreams come true. Let love grow in your life once again. Wow. Okay. So for clarification with the enemy card, look at that. Five of Swords. I fought that battle and now I'm done. I'm moving forward with victory. For I know with the Hex energy I can, as I am being still in my life, allow the enemies to reveal themselves. For some, you may be dealing with an air sign, Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini. But in your thoughts position, look at we have a beautiful water energy, maybe Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio, who's coming in with the Knight of Cups energies to bring you cups of love. Some of you are being reborn, and now you are hugging someone, maybe with dark hair, who brings you love and joy and playfulness. Pay attention to the serendipity. In the first half of the week of September 7th of 2020, Taurus. For Spirit is helping you to create, right? Number three and 30 is Father, Son, Holy Ghost. And the zero is about preparation. Preparing in your foundation with the Four of Wands energies to celebrate with family and friends a beautiful new foundation or direction. For in the past, this Taurus had gone through some form of detox. And Spirit saying, it's time to get off that wheel. The wheel of fortune is now turning in your favor, but it is a karmic wheel. So if we get back into what caused us to need to detox in the first place, our wheel of fortune will go backwards, which is not a good thing. We have to repeat another experience. So this detoxification is what brought on this beautiful major arcana of the Wheel of Fortune to move you into a direction where you can recognize the enemy and walk away. There's so much support here for this Taurus energy. Now from the 7th to around the 9th or 10th of September of 2020, we have Love the Darkness, Love the Heartache, the Pain, that you had to experience. Why? Because the light that's coming to you involves your knowledge and wisdom, involves the ability with the Knight of Cups energies in your thoughts position to go out and playfully help another or others because of what you had to experience back here. For you can let love grow in your life as you go out and help others to get back on track is what I just heard with the merge with the flow energy. So in the actions position, Taurus, you've got tangibility. It is time to make your dreams real. Wow. To create the energy of a happily ever after in your own personal journey. Now, for some of you, you've been fighting a battle with what you hoped would get better. And then we have someone coming in playfully 
where you want to create a solid foundation and a happily ever after. But there is some form of heartache here. Someone may just be coming in playfully. But let's see. The advice here is to cultivate love. Give love. Love is about patience and kindness. Passion is something completely different. So Spirit's saying, cultivate love even if you sit in a moment of darkness and heartache. Let love grow in your life through positive, kind words and messages. And wait on Spirit with this number five to bring you out of energies of worry or fear. Look at that. Because Spirit's giving you the strength in your inner strengths position of the Queen of Wands. Wands representing uh, hobbies, gifts, talents, skills, goals, intentions, directions that you continue to put into effort day to day where you start to recognize uh, new ideas, new fulfillment in your life. Some of you in your foundation, you're going to be able to come together with a passionate feminine. Maybe she has fire in her chart, Sag Aries or Leo, who is creating a happily ever after and celebration in their life. And spirit saying, go with the flow with an open heart. You can create the same thing, a happily ever after for yourself. If in the hopes and fears position, you accept yourself and have hope for what can now be. So there's a little bit of a warning here. I'm hearing with the Seven of Cups energies of confusion and illusion. Who are you really, right? Something tied you down with these roots for a period of time because maybe you didn't want to get clear about love and partnership and a future and a home and all that. But now it's time to understand that you are perfect. And right now you can use the Seven of Cups energies to, use your, to apply your imagination to whatever heartache and darkness you're experiencing as you continue to connect with family and friends like I felt earlier. For by the weekend of the 12th through the 14th of September of 2020, we again have you sitting in solitude, alone but not lonely, alone and reminiscing on some form of temptation, addiction, sitting in solitude because sometimes people have this devil energy of addiction to a person, place, circumstance, situation, environment, or thought. Someone may have some form, well, they do have some form of unhealthy energy and spirit saying, this is about perfect acceptance of the self. Walk right through whatever this heartache and darkness is because as you set goals and intentions for yourself, you're going to be cultivating energies of love, happiness, family, friends, and that's what's going to be a beacon for spirit to send in the right one if you're single. So for clarification and a three-card summary here to my left in the same Gilded Tarot deck. Yeah, we have maybe a father figure and a mother figure here with the King and Queen of Swords. Air sign, Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini. And you may be conflicted with the Five of Swords as to who you want to communicate with. Allow the enemy to reveal themselves as you get clear with others who are dishonest, sneaky, with the Seven of Swords. It is time to use the strength energy right off the bat in the beginning of the week of September 7th of 2020, Taurus, to bring something to an end. There's some confusion here. I feel somewhere around midweek of September 7th, where someone may come towards you or you want to go towards another, you may be going excitedly towards someone who has water in their chart, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio, or some of you may want to speak your truth in some way. Someone may be coming towards you to tempt you, and you're sitting here with great hope in your heart with the moon. That during this moment of pause and darkness, you can learn from old energies of heartache. What didn't work. You can now lay down an old path that you were passionate about with the Nine of Wands energies, Taurus, and you can now receive with the Six of Pentacles energy, money from another or others. 
a wish will come true if you continue to put effort and time in day to day with the three of pentacles and the star for the stars a major arcana so continue to pray to spirit as you put time and effort into creativity uh, finances a new direction watch for temptation for by the weekend we do have communication from someone or having to do with someone who has the king of pentacles energies i feel like this is you guys i feel like someone uh made it through a long and difficult path uh they followed money in some way but now you're finding the correct path for yourself and you're stepping into the king of pentacles throne or you're sitting in there because you are connecting with someone who has the strength of heart card energy someone who may have leo in their chart with the Queen of Wands here. And the strength is a major arcana. Or you're going to have the strength. To communicate. Here again we may have a feminine water sign. Pisces, Cancer or Scorpio. Or to listen to your intuition. So that you can be guided somehow away from troubled waters. Being represented by the swords. Libra, Aquarius or Gemini. Don't give up. There's this feisty energy with the Page of Swords energy. I feel like this is almost within you. Like I had to go through some form of painful situation. But, you know, if I continue to cultivate love and set goals and meet goals, I know that a wish is going to come true with the Nine of Cups. Some of you may find out by Friday. What is that? The I should have my calendar up. Yeah, look at that. A new path in the area of money. So this is really guiding someone who uh, to, to create and manifest a higher, better path, uh, a healthy path, leaving behind any addictions, moving beyond the pain, and now sharing the information you have learned, the wisdom that you have had to obtain through a difficult journey with others. You could guide and help others. And that's when you may recognize that an old path has ended, 29. Two was the path and direction. It's time for a new direction. Nine is about an ending. Perfect acceptance of yourself because of what you had to learn. It's time to burn away the past on the bottom of that deck. All right, well, to close this reading, I'm going to bring in one card from the Guardian Angel deck. I'm actually going to ask for a person by which Taurus... Uh, may have lost in the past that is still around them, trying to guide them out of the darkness into the light. To avoid unhealthy connections, circumstances, situations, to sit in solitude and to know that spirit is trying to help for you, Taurus. To create a path of happily ever after and stability in your life. Oh, so you guys have the aid of action. Very much of what I'm feeling, Taurus. Now is the time, especially this week, to get going. There's so much going on right now that it may feel overwhelming to you. And yet, it's wonderful to be so busy with the work that you love. Express gratitude for the blessings of heaven that are taking up your time, even if life feels challenging. If you're asked to travel or to connect with another during this week, take a flight. And whatever you do, do it with confidence. So this is about something happening maybe rather quickly and unexpectedly here that you hear about from someone regarding family, home, celebration. And you may be feeling like you're sitting in the darkness here with energies of heartache and confusion. But Spirit's saying it's time for a very spiritual transformation. In the past, you took the steps to detox. And now all you have to do is allow the enemies to reveal themselves as you sit in this moment of solitude. As you make your own personal dreams come true, know that you will cultivate an energy that will draw others towards you who really really love and care about you love them back it's time to let go of really what caused this heartache in the first place should you like your own personal energy read i am offering a one month three month six month and yearly reading and my price list will be in the box below this video i am still offering this summer special which is a 15 minute video reading for just 25 dollars if you'd like to give it a try
Um, thank you so much to those of you whom have commented and let me know how these messages have resonated for you. To those of you whom have come to me for personal readings and then followed up as to how these energies help for you to step into a path of peace, joy, and contentment. Uh, thank you so much to those of you whom have donated to keep the channel up and running. And I'd like for you guys to let me know. Do you like the live video podcast where we just have a comment section and I'm on video? Or would you like to attend the live Zoom cast on Wednesdays at noon, uh, U.S. Central Time, where we can all meet face to face? It's been so beautiful, and everyone who has attended thus far has asked to be invited again. So if you'd like an invite, email me at josiek42 at gmail.com. Take care, and God.